All right, well, we had a cold front blow in overnight. Had some rain. The water level's not up or anything for this little big creek, so it must not have rained that much. My biggest concern is the cold front and the barometric pressure. Uh, messing with the fish so they might not want to eat. But uh, I'm going to use something today that I used. I featured it briefly in a in another video, uh, like maybe last week, just the other day. And uh, I got one fish on it, but I didn't use it very much. I didn't go into detail on it. And anyway, uh, here it is right here. This one, now these these baits, you see them all over the place, all over. Uh, everybody offers them for free. All you got to do is pay for the shipping, but the shipping's like a ridiculous amount. Uh, this one was like $8 or something, which is probably about what the shipping on all those little ones cost, so it worked out. But on top of that, this, uh, this pattern and these colors, you can't find anywhere else. This one's from a company called Runkle. It's my new, uh, new sponsor. And, uh, unfortunately this color is not even available anymore. I think I bought the last one. So, uh, hopefully they'll have it back in stock pretty soon. But I, I did manage to pull one fish on it. It's, it's actually kind of a, it looks like a white bass or a little striper pattern with a blood smear on it. So, let's see if we can get something over here. And I mean, it's the, it's kind of the same as the little mini Chinese joint jointed swim bait that I used was, except it's this is the three inch, and that one's like one inch. This is three and a half inches, I think. A little turtle chilling right there, like he doesn't even see me. Nah, just looking at me. I don't even care. Probably reach down and grab him. There he goes. All right. Navigating my way through these rocks <clears throat> out on top of the water here. It's a nice flat one right here to stand on. And it's a little wobbly. Well, this one's even worse. Oh, there we go. It's a good one. No, I mean, it's not a very big one, but I mean, it's, it's something. I'll take it. It's fighting pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is a nice one. And it's not huge, but it feels pretty heavy on the end of this rod. There we go. Take a picture for the sponsor if he stays still. See if we can get the hook out now. Oh yeah, he's barely hooked. Be all right. There we go. Ugh. Took long enough. All right, and with that, I am gonna move on to another spot. And there's a snake right there coming right at me. Get out of here. No, yeah, he's. He's not changing directions. What is that? Get out of here. I had to hit him. Just ate something too. Got a big fat spot on his belly. That's why he's floating up to the surface. <laughs> I mean, that's not a dangerous snake. That's just a water snake. But he's patterned almost like a rattlesnake. So, it's easy to get confused and then everybody automatically assumes they're water moccasins. But now I gotta figure out how to get back. Well, here's proof right here that these, this isn't shallow water or anything with the plants growing in it. This is mud right there. I just went knee deep in it because I slipped off the rock. Lost my balance. Now my foot's going to be squishing the whole time. 
All right, my backup rod today is a very cheap telescopic that I keep in the back of my truck. So, I mean, of course, it's all heat damaged and everything from baking in there all day. And the line's got a heavy memory in it, so. But after a while, getting it wet, it'll straighten itself out. All right, I want to throw right here, but I'm going to throw this little green fluke here just because I think that's going to be a better better for this situation. Well, my good luck charm just happened. Somebody walked by and told me I ain't going to catch nothing because there's no fish in here. So every time they say that, I always catch one on the next couple of casts. You'd be surprised how often that happens in this city. Like People just don't think there's any fish in any of the water anywhere in this city. It's ridiculous. definitely able to get now that the water's been wet a little bit it can definitely cast a little bit farther oh there we go <laughs> I just watched that one come up and grab him shell come on nice little one A little bitty large mouth. Oh. Well, they always slip out of my hand right when I'm throwing them. All right, I'm gonna go with the old, old faithful here, the Senko, skinny Senko. Throw it back this way. Now that the line's wet, I'm really able to cast out dis distance with this one. Oh, there we go. On the swim bait. Nice. Another nice little one. <laughs> Get the... I don't know how much of that you saw. The battery died after, right after I caught that fish. I was getting the hook out of his mouth and it died. But I went ahead and didn't let it go. But yeah, that's uh, that's two bass on the swim bait already. It's paid off. Oh, that's not where I wanted that. <laughs> oh, got another one. Get out of those weeds. <laughs> it's not a bass this time. The green sunfish went at it, swiped at it, I guess, and then the weeds got them torn up on there. So just had a sunfish go after this, and it wasn't much bigger than it, so that's There we go, get another one. Point in the, trying to get it up, don't want to get up in these roots. Yeah. Another little bass. The swim bait definitely works. And I've caught more and more on this one today than I did on the mini swim bait than the last time. And that mini swim bait video blew up. It's at like 13,000 views or something like that now. And my Amazon sales on that lure, that's the number one selling thing for my Amazon account or my Amazon affiliate account is that lure. 
and this one is just as good i mean the mini one is probably be probably going to catch more fish in the long run than this one will but this one is right there with it so all right i just saw a little bit of movement right up here so i think i might fish here for a few minutes probably be the last spot of the day let me throw the saw plastic first for a few minutes for a second What? Are you kidding me? That's a big one. I just saw him come up and take it. <clears throat> Biggest one of the day, anyway. Whoa. Oh. Don't. Let me get a hold of you. Don't. Stop. He's hooked in the bottom lip. This one's been foul hooked before. See right there, that's from somebody foul hooking him. Her, whatever. <laughs> Use the uh, runkle pliers here to get it, get the hook out. There you go. Actually, this might be worth getting a weight on. It's probably around two pounds. Uh, one pound and three quarters, exactly. Or, well, maybe a little over. But there we go. That thing definitely works. This is the biggest one of the day. Out she goes. All right, now that last one I caught in his spot right where i was throwing my go-to bait my skinny sanko that i always catch stuff on and it went after the swim bait instead of the, the skinny sanko so that should tell you a lot right there and it pulled so hard it dug into the reel and made me backlash so oh come on got me another one Right like that, right in that same spot. It looks like it might be a little bit bigger, or I mean a little bit smaller, bigger than the other ones I got today. Yeah, not a bad one at all. Not, not bad at all. So I'm pretty sure I just pulled a male and a female off the bed because those were both, both bites were in the same place, the same spot. So that had to be what it was. And I threw that, that Senko there a couple of times in that same spot, didn't even get a nibble. So bringing this uh, swim bait through, they definitely preferred that. All right, so I'd really, really want to keep fishing because the bite is still on. But it's already getting dark, and I got a bit of a walk to get back. I don't want to be here too long. I don't want to be here after dark anyway. So I'm going to get back up to the walking path and head home. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, this was from the, the swim bait in uh, a custom color from the, from my new sponsor, Runkle. Uh, it's available on Amazon. That's the best thing about this sponsor. A lot of the companies that I get in touch with, they don't have anything available on Amazon like that, or to the general public even. Like you gotta buy it through me or something, but 
Yeah, and then they they go for the hat. But yeah, so this bait was is definitely a worthy investment. Uh, I just hopefully they get this color back in stock pretty soon because it works pretty well out here. And I might need to get a couple more. Maybe I'll try some other colors to see what they got. But yeah, it was definitely worthwhile. Uh, stuck in the mud here. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.